Hello. Today I'm going to show you about some of the basics of model rocketry. To demonstrate, what is my metalizer? It's about four years old now. It's my veteran rocket right now. And then there's also my new rocket, which we had lost the first time, so we bought a second one. This is the Athena rocket. I like this rocket a lot. It's cheap, it's small, it looks pretty good, and it's really easy to take the engines in and out because of this little latch here instead of unscrewing the bottom. So now I'll go into the different types of model rocket engines we got. Got the A83s here. It has about eight. The A engines is the rating of the engines. You got eight. For these size rockets, we got A, B, and C engines. A engines are the weakest, with B engines being twice as powerful as the A engines, and C's being twice as powerful as the B engines. So you can see how much, how much more powerful they'll be. The eight for the A83 shows that that's how many. Um, how much power it has in a newton seconds that it has. How long it'll last, I think. Um, the three is the time in seconds from the uh, end of the cycle to the apogee, the part where the uh, rocket is supposed to hit its top, its peak, and then it'll in it, it'll emit a puff of hot gas that will force the parachute up through out and of the body. And this is important why we have recovery wadding here. It's a special type of fireproof paper that you put before you put the parachute in so it protects the parachute from being destroyed by the hot gases. Because if you don't put it there, your parachute will have holes or it'll be burnt and it'll pretty much be useless. And that's not good. As you can see, I have a crap load of engines about about. $50, $60 worth of A83s yesterday because they were cost effective and we don't like to use the C engines because the C engines usually end up losing something or breaking something. So we just decided to play it safe with these. So as you can see, these are the A83s. I also have on the bottom here, I have a B64, my personal favorite, right here. And then I have a little more powerful. I have the C63, which is not as powerful as the C65 that I used to use. But I would not recommend using this unless you have a huge open field and you keep a good eye on it so you don't lose it. And as you can see, they have different... They look the same, but they have a different amount of powder inside them. A3. This powder goes up to about here. You got a B64 right here. As you can see, the powder goes up to about here, and your C63, the powder clearly goes up to here. To set up our rocket, we're going to need to put some recovery wadding in, first thing. For something as narrow as the Athena rocket, they, say to recomm they recommend to use the SD's recovery wadding, but any recovery wadding is okay. For something this narrow or so, about an inch, about three or four sheets be crumpled up and stuck in to the body about to about this far or so it doesn't really matter because once you put the parachute in it'll push it all the way back make sure that it touches all the walls all of the walls around the cylinder so that it's well protected underneath here this is going to be a little hard to show but for the parachute really once you have the parachute out here you have, there's sort of a technique you have to fold, follow. You fold it in half, and then you sort of roll it in half like that. Then you pretty much just stick it in the hole. Push it in about thumb length, thumb length or so. And then you pretty much just kind of like stuff these all the strings in here. You stick the nose cone on, make sure that none of the strings or anything are blocking the, uh, or making it harder for you to stick this in. Make sure they're all pushed down all the way. It is also important that this is not too tight as well as too loose. If it's too tight, you want to sand around the edges here to make it fit a little easier. And if it's too loose, then you're going to want to stick a piece of tape around the outside here to make it a little more snug. Right now it's all right. Now that that's out of the way, now, for something this simple, we're going to have to just stick the engine in. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use an A83. And all you do for this type of rocket is you literally just stick it in this hole. 
That is very simple. It's this little stand here that you put together, really. There's a couple holes here. But for these types of rackets, you're going to use the smaller hole. So basically, stick it on here. Twist it to the side so it locks. Stick the rod in. Drop it down. And then you're going to tighten that. And make sure that this, is, this stays up nice and tall and straight. It's very important that it stays up straight. So that way, your rocket won't shoot into the ground. Put a little piece of tape here, because it keeps the rocket to set here instead of down on the mat. Now, in order to get this rocket off the ground, you're going to have to grab something like this. This is a solar igniter. You're going to stick this part here into the bottom, the hole of the engine. Because when, um, when you hook the controller up to the igniter, you're going to basically use this and it'll make a spark, which will obviously ignite this, which will make it go up. I don't think I have to explain that any clearer. But there's a little bit of a science or so to do in this. And you're going to have to grab the igniter here. You're going to want to bend it a little bit, probably a little better than that. This, the instructions recommend that you do it in sort of a U shape. And then you're going to want to stick it into the hole and bend it. Try not to get it in the way of these pieces here so that you don't have the launch rod in the way of the igniter. Different engines use differently uh, sized, have differently sized holes. The A engine has a little bit larger hole than the B's and C's. The B, so the B's will come with the purple plug and the A engines come with the yellow plug. It's very important that you stick this in to the bottom here and make sure it stays nice and snug. Try not to push it in too hard or you might actually end up breaking the igniter here. So then you'd have to take it out and throw this thing away. Manuel says that when the rocket is not in use, you should stick this up on the top to prevent any misfires or anything that will ever go off. It can also double as a bit of a windsock, which can help you determine where you want the rocket to go. Like if your end is going like that direction, for example, you might want to tilt it backwards a little bit so that the rocket will shoot up and then flow back this way. You get a feel for these things after you start flying. Grab your launch controller here. Make sure that the key is not in the socket when you're not connected to it or you're not ready to fire to prevent any accidental misfires. You're gonna to wanna to grab these two plugs here. These are two clamps here. You're going to want to clamp one onto that one and the other onto the other one. It is very important that these two do not touch each other. The rocket is completely ready to launch. Make sure that you remove that from the top. And make sure that since the cord here is very long, you stand at least 10 or 15 feet or so away from the rocket for safety reasons. When you are ready, take the key, push it into the launch controller, into the hole, hard enough. When the light comes on, that lets you know that it is hooked up and you are ready to launch. So while holding this down relatively hard, you push this key here. You push that down while pushing this down in, and then that will launch the rocket straight up. <laughs> that was pretty loud. Oh wow, is it really going that way? Oh, my God. That went really high, actually. Much higher than I thought it would. I knew it was going to go high. <laughs> Down. We basically have to do the same thing over again. The, the engine will no longer be good. So you're just going to want to take it out and throw it away, basically. You don't want to keep these. And then obviously the parachute would be out. So you're going to want to put some more recovery wadding back in. Never reuse recovery wadding. Or the igniters. So basically just stick in more recovery wadding. Stick the parachute back in. The nose cone. Put another rocket in. And then you got yourself another, uh, you got yourself another launch to do.